this morning is Poppins Pilates. perfect in every way. have to do a lot of smiling this morning with my bag and my outfit. So this morning we're celebrating your feet that stick out. So today I'm born to be Mary Poppins. Uh, hello, hello, hello. I don't know if Parrot had a... Did he, did he speak? This is quite, it's not exactly high quality. Um, so I don't think that's going to keep me dry today, is it? Um, with that. But obviously I've got my bag with all my important items in. If you're deciding to go out uh, for a night out. So we've got a lot of important items in our handbag. So, um, you know, we've got, a, what have we got in our handbag? We've got um, some Pringles. Um... We've got uh, some water, because that's very important. Uh, we've got some hand sanitizer. Um, we've got a mobile phone, because you can't go out without a mobile phone. Uh, we've got a hairbrush, um, lipstick, very important. Mary Poppins wouldn't have gone anywhere without her lipstick. Um, We've also got some blister plasters. You can't go out with your, like, your blister plasters. Um, we've also got uh, a weight, because obviously you can't go out without a weight either. And um, very important for a night out in my handbag, uh, some pond clearer. So um, yeah, Mary Poppins had a lot in her handbag, didn't she? So anyway, are we going to get started? Should we get started? Yeah, the parrot is quite annoying. Um, so, um, <laughs> I haven't got a coat stand in it. Um, I thought Pong Clearer and Pringles was quite handy. It's only a smallish bag. Anyway, let's get started. So, you might not see my feet because I've got a very long skirt on, so we might have to do a bit of lifting. So, we might start with the parrot and the bag uh, in either hand. So um, let's think about standing feet hip distance apart and do a little bit of rising up onto your toes. And always remember, a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. And let's raise the arms. And you can sing that in your head. Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down, the medicine go down, medicine go down. Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down in the most delightful way. So just keep singing that in your head as you raise up onto your tiptoes and raise your hands up to your shoulders. Really feel that stretch in the back of your calves. And remember that spoonful of sugar. And back to centre. And then let's just sway forwards and back. So we're now just getting some ankle mobility. So hands by your side. Pulling those shoulders down. Pulling the crown of your head to the ceiling. I can be quite bossy today, can't because Mary Poppins was quite bossy. If you don't pull the crown of your head to your ceiling, I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do to you, but I'll do something to you. <laughs> I'll make you drink pond cleaner. <laughs> so just sway forwards and back. Really think about engaging that core. And as you sway forwards, you can start to raise a little bit again. But I don't want you to raise high. I just want you to think about feeling those toes. So you're rocking on that ball of your foot onto the toes, then rocking back onto the heels. And your chin, chin, slap, 
chin slightly tucked in. I've got chin chimney in my head now, I can't say chin. Think about pulling your chin chimney <laughs> in towards your chest. And then let's raise up again and let's circle the arms round. So we raise up onto our toes and circle. Up to the top and circle. And back down and last one back to the side and give your shoulders a bit of a roll you can place your uh, bag your carpet bag down if you've got an umbrella <laughs> fake one <laughs> take it out in front I hold it in front and then we're going to do our rotation so we're going to take one arm back and look towards that arm that's going back. So one arm out in front, take the other one behind. And look towards the back of the room. Try to keep your pelvis set central, those feet hip distance apart. See if we can increase that rotation each time, opening up that chest. And back to centre and give the shoulders a roll. We'll do some side bends. So we'll start off, you can have your arms up with your umbrella if you've got an umbrella or you can have your arms just by your side. Whichever you want to do and let's just side bend over. So again pulling those shoulders down like we're between those two panes of glass. do need a chimney sweep don't I? I mean I haven't got a chimney but I could do the chimney sweep <sighs> to go with my outfit and back down and just really feel that stretch down your side keeping that frame around your head And bring the shoulders back down and roll the shoulders and let's just take one arm behind and do a couple of arms do a couple of arm circles and break your chandelier all at the same time <laughs> oops <laughs> you know you would think I would know that was by there by now wouldn't you so arm circles back Daisy. <laughs> didn't swear in true Mary Poppins style the nice big arm circle back <laughs> and then bring it forward so bring the arm bring the arm forward <laughs> hitting your chandelier one more time <laughs> oops <laughs> I, think I, I think I've lost one of, I've lost one of my balls <laughs> Need to find my ball afterwards. Back round. And back round. And roll the shoulders again. Oops, did you see? We're going to do our heel pedals now. So we're going to do alternating heel pedals. If you've got something to have in each hand, weight or something, but I mean these aren't weighted, but anyway. So feet hip distance apart. 
and let's just raise one heel and switch. So keeping the pelvis really central, really stable in a nice straight line, we're not rocking and rolling. Mary wouldn't be doing any Saturday night fevering, well, not unless Bert was around. I imagine her and Bert did quite a lot of Saturday night fevering. Well, Bert would have liked to, I think. It's quite sad, really, isn't it? Unrequited love between a chimney sweep and a magical nanny. So raise the arms up to shoulder height. So it's alternating arms with the legs. So we're getting, we're thinking about our balance and our coordination as well because we're trying to keep stable, we're not trying to rock, doing our centering exercise. Let's do true Mary Poppins feet. So we're going to take our feet out 10 to 2. Oh, I see. I was born to be Mary Poppins. Heels together, thighs together, bum. Squeeze tightly together. And we're just going to raise up onto those tiptoes, really clenching that buttock. Those buttocks. Don't just clench one buttock. Clench both of them. So as you raise up, oh, really clench back down. So we're really working those glutes, again we're working those calves as we go up onto our tiptoes. Nice and strong, really squeeze that bum together. And when you lift, also think about your pelvic floor. So as we lift up, squeeze your bum and lift everything else upwards. So imagine that Mary Poppins is about to take off and imagine when she was taking off into the sky with her umbrella, she was probably working her pelvic floor at that very moment. So just lift everything and you might take off too. I mean your pelvic floor might be through the roof but anyway. So just squeeze, lift everything up. We might see where the wind will take us to. Well, hopefully not that wind, because hopefully you clench your buttocks so much nothing's going to come out. So lift and back down. This time, can we hold it at the top? Can we open our knees and can we pulse holding at the top? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can we come back up to standing and really stretch on those tiptoes and stretching your legs? Can we come back down again halfway and can we butterfly our knees together? So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back up, place the heels back down. Can we step further apart with our 10 to 2 Mary Poppins feet? Look at this. And then we're going to plie squat. So we're going to take the arms out to the side and back up. So we're going to plie squat. Nice straight back against a wall. And I think you should all burst into a verse as we're doing these of supercalifragilistic. So let's go. Supercalifragilistic expialidocious, even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. If you say it loud enough, you'll always sound 
precocious, super callous, gradualistic, expialidocious. Um de la 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 um de la um de la la um de la. See, and exaggerate as you squat down, make the noise louder. <laughs> Squat, taking the arms out to the side, squeezing those thighs and bottom as you come up to the top. Because under this skirt, I have got a giant beach ball. I could have anything under this skirt, you just can't tell. I could have Bert under this skirt. <laughs> Back up. Next one, can we hold down and pulse 10? Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious If you say it loud enough you'll always sound precocious Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious And up to the top Give your legs a little shake Shake, 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 shake And a little march And then back to feet, hip distance apart Try to point your toes forward if you can do. I can't do that. That's the best I can do. Skirt covers it up. Excellent. Maybe I should have done Pilates in Victorian times and nobody would have seen my feet or my posture. Whoops, my umbrella. So we're going to squat now. So let's push the bum back, squat, and raise the arms up to shoulder height. Bottom back, squat down. And back up. Bottom back. Squat for a monkey squat, pulling the shoulders back, squeezing those glutes and thighs. As we get to the bottom this time, can we hold it there? Hold, hold, and then come back up. Let's squat again and hold at the bottom. Keep engaging that core and back up. Bottom back, squat down. Can we raise onto our tiptoes and hold on your tiptoes? Place the heels back down and come back up. Bottom back, squat down, up onto the tiptoes, heels down, back up. This time, can we squat down? Can we raise onto our toes, raising the heels? And can we come back up on the tiptoes with our arms up into the air and bring everything back down? So bottom back, squat down, lift onto your tiptoes, raise up to the ceiling and everything back down. Bottom back down, onto tiptoes, up, back down. We'll do one more of those. So back, squat, lift, lift everything and arms back down. And a nice little shoulder roll because we love a shoulder roll don't we? Do love a shoulder roll. I mean, I love a ham roll probably better, or a bacon, oh, bacon roll. Do you know, I've not had bacon butty in ages. Sorry, I don't know why that's something. Oh, or a sausage, a sausage roll. Love a sausage roll too. It's quite annoying. I've not been to Greg's for ages. Anyway, Mary Poppins once said that, would she? So we're going to do our split. <laughs> we're going to do our stand. <laughs> we're going to do our stride forward. And I'm going to have my umbrella just because I like it. So we're going to take one big step forward, raising the heel on the back, squeezing that glute and lifting the arms and back in and change sides. Step forward, squeeze your glutes, raise the arms back in. Step forward, back in. On this next one where we step forward, let's bow and arrow I think I did that the wrong way around. Let's bow and arrow and back in. So we're stepping forward. The foot that's forward, we're going to bow and arrow that arm and look behind that shoulder to get some nice rotation. Step forward.
you rotating, you're looking round towards that back of the room, you're getting the elbow nice and close to your side, and that big stride back. So you were getting some pel mobility in our pelvis. It's very functional, it's like we're walking. carry on with that little bit of a split stance. So the leg behind. Can we then lift that leg up, squeezing the glute? And can we pulse it to what? Well, can we lift it towards the back of the room, squeezing that glute? So a glute lift, pointing the toe to the back of the room. And lift and squeeze. Engage your core, nice and stable. Three, I'm not very stable. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then can we pulse it for ten? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And back in, oh, give your feet a little bit of a march. Take the other foot back. Squeeze that glute, lift the leg, point to the back of the room, and let's do 10 little lifts. One, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, whoops, Daisy, ten, and ten pulses. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and back together. And a little march there. Well done. And we're going to do a little bit of a split squat. So just forward again, one foot, other foot slightly back. Let's raise the arms and then let's do a little split squat with our VW arms. So arms up, shoulder blades, shoulders pull down towards your back pockets and a little split squat. bring your umbrella down, the parrot head that talks to you. So change sides. This is going to be my new best friend. I'm going to take it everywhere with me. At least somebody I've got somebody to talk to. Leg behind, arms up. And let's do the other side. So those split squats. One, two, three, Our little sequences. So we're going to hip hinge and then we're going to walk onto the mat. Oh, it's quite warm in me puff sleeve jacket. So we're, so we're going to take a little bit of a bow in our hip hinge, so engaging that core, thinking about our back, being neutral. So really just hand on your front, hand on your back. Just so you get how that feels. You can feel that little curve in your lower spine and you can feel how your core 
and your abdominals are, are bracing just a little bit as you do that lean forward. And then we're going to lean forward, going to either bend the knees, fold, walk onto the mat into a nice high plank. And then we're going to do legs out to the side. So one, two, three, four, and lift. push-ups while you're singing let's go fly a kite <laughs> let's go fly a kite up to the highest height let's go fly a kite and send it soaring up through the atmosphere into shell stretch work. So keep looking down, little lift of the chin and chest, rotation of those shoulder blades and the palms in towards your legs. into down face and let's do some heel pedals while we're up there two three four five six seven eight nine ten and walk it back in fold back up arm circle and let's go again we're going to do a side plank this time. Oh dear me, the shirt's come out. It's not a very high quality costume, you don't get a whole shirt. So <laughs> fold forward, walk onto the mat into your high plank. Can we go into a side plank? Lift the arm, look towards the fingers, back down, side plank the other side. down onto our knees and let's do our five push-ups so if we can travel further forward please do so 
If you do them full, please do so. We want to get that chest between those hands. Take three, four, and five. Into the shell stretch, have a little rest of your wrists. Readjust your hat. And then back into our low plank position and we're going to do side taps this time or you can just hold the plank so let's go again let's go fly a kite up to the highest height let's go fly a kite and send it soaring up through the atmosphere up where the air is clear oh let's go Fly your kite and come down onto your tummy. You're going to put your head this time on your hands and we're going to do our leg lifts. So we're going to work our glutes. You want to walk your pelvis and your legs down the mat. We're going to squeeze our bottom and we're going to squeeze our knee and our thigh and our foot should lift. So squeeze that glute, squeeze that thigh, and your leg should lift, like magic. So you should feel your pelvis in the mat. If you're not feeling it on your glutes, you probably need to pelvic tilt a little bit more and get that crotch properly into the mat. That was a bit wrong saying that in a Mary Poppins outfit, isn't it? Get your crotch into the mat. And lift. And last one. Hands by your side. Let's push up into a down face and do our heel pedals. And walk it back in. Oh, we didn't do, we didn't do all fours, did we? No, I forgot. Let's go again. It's like it was deliberate, but it wasn't. <laughs> Fold forward. It's too keen to get all into a plank. Walk onto the mat into your high plank. We're going to do knee to the same wrist, knee through the middle, knee to the opposite wrist. Then we're going to do knee to the same wrist, knee through the middle, knee through the opposite wrist and then let's come down. So let's do the super here, the all fours we forgot to do. So in all fours, shoulders back, nice neutral spine, and we're going to take the leg back and in, alternating those legs. So the leg out and back. Again, we're trying not to move our body or wing our shoulders. The knee should really just scuff the floor to make sure we've kept everything in alignment. Just really concentrate on these to keep that stability. And into shell stretch. Rest your wrist for a second. And then we'll do our push-ups. So into those five push-ups. One, two, three, four, five. And then let's go into our plank 
and we'll do our plank with little leg lifts this time. Or you can just hold a normal plank. So let's go. Let's go fly a kite up to the highest height. Let's go fly a kite and send it soaring up through the atmosphere. Up where the air is clear. Oh, let's go fly a kite. On to your dummy. Hands by the side of your head. Walk your feet down the mat. Hands by the side of your head. Shoulders pull down towards your back pockets. You can turn your toes in to turn your glutes off. And do a little lift of the chin and chest and hands. So a little lift off the floor and back down. You want to extend a little bit like you're pushing a marble away with your nose as you come up. But we keep looking down. I don't want you looking forward. And lift. Shoulder blades should start to come together. Extension work in your back, nine and ten. And let's just come up back to all fours and push back up into that all fours position. Think about readjusting again so we get those shoulders over our wrists, hips over our knees. We've got that little pelvic tilt, we've done a little pelvic tilt to get our neutral spine. We can drum our fingers and then we're going to do our superhero. So we're going to take one leg back and the arm forward and bring them back in. And we're trying not to rock our body as we change sides. into shell stretch and then we're going to come onto seated this is quite difficult in a long skirt <laughs> so we're going to be seated knees slightly bent I'm going to take um, if you've got an umbrella or a weight take that and we're going to do our little roll back. So we're going to start just by rolling back as far as our knees. Hands to the knees. Look forward. Tuck your shirt in. Look towards your chest or belly button. And C curl forward. And you can raise the arms there if you want. Arms down. Roll back to the hands to the knees. So you feel that sort of biting point. Looking down and C curl forward and up and down and forward and up. The next one, when we get to that biting point, can we paddle our canoe? So it's a jolly holiday with Mary, Mary makes your heart so round. When Mary holds your hand, you feel so grand. Your heart starts beating like a big brass band. And then back up to your toes. And reach. And come back again to that position. And let's go again, kayaking to jolly holiday with Mary. You can sing it in your head if you want. When Mary holds your hand, you feel so grand. So look 
So we're getting that oblique twist to the side, like a big brass band. Oh, wait, did you? Forward, lift. Let's go again. That halfway position, feeling it in your abs, and we're oblique twisting to the side. You can have your arms folded in genie position. You should really feel this on your brakes. And curl forward. And we'll do one more. Up to the top. Roll back. And twist. And back up and centre. And drop the knees to the side. You can put your feet together there, have a little bit of an inner thigh stretch. A little bit of a rock. And then we're going to roll down onto the mat. We're going to roll down onto the mat. Bend the knees. Knees on the floor. And let's take one foot forward and one arm back. So we're doing that centering exercise again, but on the floor. You're looking forward, you don't want your head to be looking towards the back of the room. If it is, you need a block. You want to take your feet into table. Take your feet into table. Oh, I've got a nice draft on my skirt now. I needed that, it was a bit warm. the frog one with Mary Poppins legs. Yay! So we want to have heels together, knees out, heels together. We're going to have our hands behind our head. So cradle a hand in the head, head on the floor and then we do a little curl up as we push the feet up to the ceiling Mary Poppins style and back down. So push your feet Mary Poppins style up and in. Push. Into the 100. Again, with your feet turned out. 10. In, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. In, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. In, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. In, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 70, can you curl up a bit more? 80, in, 2, 3, 4, 5, out, 2, 3, 4, 90, in, 2, 3, 4, 5, out, 2, 3, 100. Oh, head down, have a little rock there, hold your knees. And then we'll do a single leg stretch. So grab hold of one knee, curl up one leg forward, and we want to do this to change partners, step in time. So off we go, we're going to do ten. I might lose the song because I'm counting. Change partners, step in time, step in time, step in time. I can't actually sing and count. <laughs> six, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and come down. Oh, oh you might just want to put
feet are on that to the side and rock those knees from side to side, little hip rock. And always remember the spoonful of sugar does help the medicine go down. Makes the pain a bit less if you're having a bit of fun. And last one. And we're gonna roll onto our side. So we're gonna go in a nice straight line. Using the mat as a guide. Nice straight line. Head on your arm. Oops, my hat's coming off. Arm by your side. And let's lift the top leg, bottom leg to join it both down together. Top bottom both together. Can we try to do Mary Poppins feet? So if we lift can we keep the feet in Mary Poppins style? If that's uncomfortable you don't have to do that. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can we hold it there? Bottom leg up to join top leg ten times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then top leg. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, hold it there. Arm up, let's hold for 30 seconds. Let's go fly a kite up to the highest height. Let's go fly a kite and send did soaring up through the atmosphere, up where the air is clear. Oh, let's go fly a kite. That's going to be my new planking or holding song. And then scissors, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bend the knees and we're going to do the clam. So we're going to do the clam, knees together, lift onto your knees, lift the feet. And there's only one song we can do this to. You ready? Let's go. Let's open those legs to feed the birds. Toppence a bag. Toppence, toppence, toppence a bag. Feed the birds. Toppence a bag. Toppence. Toppence, toppence a back and back to centre. And let's come up onto our knees, put my hat back on. We're going to kneel up. And we're going to do our dumb waiters. So hat back on. Mary Poppins adjusted. Elbows in, and let's take those hands out to the corners of the room. So hands out, shoulders down. If you want to do the little knee bend back, you can do. Four, five, six. Nine and ten. Back to centre. While we're on our knees, let's do some more side bends. So again, if you've got something you can hold, let's hold it up and side bend 
Strengthen the leg, the opposite leg, and side bend. Oh, we can get a bit further now. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. pull those shoulders down. Bring your knees back together. Let's do three more the other side. One, two, three. Then take the leg out to the side. Whoops, my skirt's going away. <sighs> and side bend. One. I don't think I'd like to have been a Victorian lady. Two, Apart from the bathing huts. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And back up roll your shoulders and let's get back on the floor. Get back onto the floor, into your straight line. Again, floor, floor as a guide, nice straight line, hand on your arm and let's lift the top leg, bottom leg to join it and both together. If you can turn your feet out, can you turn your feet out? But if that's uncomfortable, you don't have to do that. Three. Nine, ten, hold it there. Ten bottom leg to top leg. Two, three, four. I'm very wobbly today. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten top legs. Ten. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it there, lift the arm, and let's do, let's go fly a kite. So let's go fly a kite up to the highest height. Let's go fly a kite and send it soaring up. Through the atmosphere, up where the air is clear. Oh, let's go fly a kite. And ten scissors. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees. Knees bent, ankles together. Lift your skirt. Lift those ankles and let's go feed those birds. Feed the birds a clam. Toppence. I want you to do the opening on toppence. 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 Toppence a bag. Feed the birds. Toppence a bag. Toppence. Toppence. stretch. So leg behind, sinking down. Pigeon stretch, see? Have to feed the birds, very appropriate. And 
change sides into your pigeon, feeding those birds again. Feeling that stretch on your glutes. And then up into all fours. And let's just do some cat and cow. So bottom back and then arching that spine. Out and then rounding up. Do our hip flexor stretch. Knee bent. Really feel that stretch down your hip flexor. Oh, and let's reach and stretch and pull. Pull, 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 pull. Change partner, step in time. Feel that stretch, lift and pull. And then let's come back up to standing. And we'll just do some more foot pedals. Two. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious If you say it loud enough you'll always sound precocious Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious Um diddle little little um diddle I Um diddle little little um diddle I Because I was afraid to speak when I was just a lad me father gave me nose a tweak and told me I was bad. And then one day I learnt a word that saved my aching nose. The biggest word I ever heard. And this is how it goes. So, foot pedal, super califragilistic, ex -realidocious. Take the arm back and though the sound of it something quite atrocious. If you say it loud enough, you'll always sound precocious. Supercalifragilistic X B Ali Do Shes and knees bent, hands together, knees bent, arms up, knees bent, arms up, hands through the middle. Give yourself a big clap. Thank you so much. Whoops, my hat's gone a bit weird. Thank you so much for joining. Poppins Pilates! Yay! <laughs> hope you enjoyed that. Hope you got a bit of a workout. I'm quite warm now. And um, I'm a hope all day you're going to be singing Mary Poppins songs and thinking about Mary Poppins. And always remember, a spoonful of sugar does make the medicine go down. Anything that just makes you laugh a little bit makes life a little bit better. That's what I think. Anyway, thank you everybody for joining me. Love you all. Bye-bye.